YouTube channel, maybe you're wondering why your videos aren't getting that many views, or maybe why your subscriber count isn't growing, and you set these big goals for your channel, you're creating amazing videos, and you're like, my channel should be growing, but it's not growing, it might all come down to YouTube SEO. And yes, there is a thing called a YouTube SEO. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization, and a lot of people think of it in relation to Google, because Google is the biggest search engine out there. People go to Google to find the answers to their questions. And just like Google, YouTube has an algorithm that they run all of the content through to determine what the best videos would be to recommend to somebody. Because here's just what it boils down to. YouTube is trying to make money. I mean, that's it. In the business world, everyone is trying to make money. And the longer someone stays on YouTube, watching videos, seeing more ads, YouTube is making money. So they are going to come up with the best videos that they think someone is going to watch and stay on them the longest so that YouTube can make money. So how do you work with the algorithm, work with YouTube so that your videos start appearing in search results? That's exactly what we are going to talk about today. I'm gonna to share some simple tips with you guys, things that you can start to incorporate within your videos today and make it really easy for you. So the first thing that we need to talk about, which should be absolutely no surprise to you guys, is keywords. Anything in relation to SEO all comes down to keywords. The placement of your keywords, your keyword research, it just... If you get anything from my channel, it is keywords, keywords, keywords. Now, before you even create your video, you need to determine what keywords you want to rank for and what are the best keywords that you can rank for. And that's where keyword research comes into play. There's a very basic way to perform keyword research within YouTube. You just go to the search bar up top, start typing in a keyword that you think you want to rank for, anything within your niche that you think is relevant, start typing it in, and then a drop down menu will appear with other relevant keywords or searches that people are actually searching on the YouTube platform. So if you just want to perform basic keyword research, that's where I would recommend that you start. But when you're ready to move into a little bit more of the advanced stuff, you definitely need to get TubeBuddy. Now it is a free extension that you can just add to your browser. I love it and I use it for a few different reasons. And I'm actually going to show you how I use it in this video. So TubeBuddy is great when you actually complete a search in YouTube, it is going to pop up and it's going to show you almost like the keyword difficulty or the keyword score. And it's going to compare the number of searches. So the search volume, how many people are actually searching for that keyword compared to the number of results, so the competition. And you wanna find a keyword that kind of ranks in the yellow or the green section. The green, the better chances you have for actually ranking for that keyword. The red, you, I, I wouldn't even go for it because you're probably not actually going to rank for that keyword. Other well-established YouTube channels are more likely to rank for that keyword because they're already trusted by YouTube. So if you are a beginner, you want to rank for more of the keywords that are still searched a decent amount, but don't have nearly as much competition. And that typically means long tail keywords. So the more words you add in your keyword phrase, the better. Once you have a list of some of the keywords that you want to rank for, then you're probably wondering, okay, what the heck do I do with those keywords? That's where your video planning comes into play. So before you can even really brainstorm your video ideas, I'm sure you have a few that you think are amazing right off the bat and maybe you can form keyword research afterwards, but I recommend forming keyword research first and then determining what content you can create based off that keyword. And then you want to make sure that that keyword is included in your content. So you guys probably noticed that I have said YouTube SEO several times in this video. It's because YouTube actually connects what you are saying in your video to what is included in your title, your description, and your tag. So you want to make sure that your keyword is appearing in what you say in the video, as well as your title, your description, and your tags. And if you have been ignoring tags, or maybe you just have no idea what the deal is with tags, Tags are really, really important. And I honestly read a few articles before this to see what other people were saying about YouTube SEO to make sure that I was saying something different, something that would be valuable for you guys. And I saw someone say that tags aren't really that important as long as you include your keywords in your speech, in the title, in the description. But I personally beg to differ because your tags is where you get to directly tell YouTube, hey, these are the keywords that I want to rank for. This is what I am talking about in this video. Please check these out and help me to appear in search for those keywords. And I also think it comes into play with TubeBuddy yet again. So when you go into the YouTube Creator Studio, you've uploaded your video, you're ready to do all the final touches before you hit launch, you can use TubeBuddy when it comes to selecting your tags. They're gonna give you a few suggestions
suggested tags that they think it would be good for you to include within your tag section and you can definitely check that out because that is honestly where I typically start but one of the other things that I really like is once you start typing in your tags it will start to pop up other relevant tags that they think would be good for you to include so it helps to really fine-tune the tags that you are going to add but beyond that TubeBuddy is great because once you have actually launched the video it will tell you what tags you are actually appearing for in search and you can actually be a little bit of a snoop and you can go to other people's youtube videos see what tags they included within the back end of their youtube video yes you can see what other tags people are including you can see what tags they are ranking for maybe what tags you want to go after and rank for as well so tags they are important you have 500 characters to include as many tags as you can within those 500 characters and it's really just telling youtube what keywords you want to rank for that's really all you need to know and it's like the second place to start with youtube seo second to keywords beyond that there are actually a few other things that you can incorporate within your youtube strategy to help you kind of get on good terms with youtube make them a little bit happy and encourage them to promote your content if that makes sense and the first one really comes down to your youtube strategy and that is your uploading schedule the more you constantly upload to youtube or not constantly i would say consistently upload to youtube the more youtube is going to like you if you go from uploading three videos a week to one every month they they aren't really going to favor your content and they're not going to push out your new content when you do share it. So for me guys, I created a strict YouTube schedule for myself. I upload videos every three days. That way you guys get fresh content all the time, but it also helps to make YouTube happy. The more I'm creating content and high quality content, they are going to view me as a quality YouTuber and try to push out more of my content to anyone that is searching for what I'm talking about, which is really the second thing I want to talk about here, which is the content or the videos that you create. If you're videos are all over the board, YouTube isn't going to like you nearly as much as if you were someone that became an expert in one topic. So if you create all of your videos around fashion and just fashion alone, YouTube is going to view you as an expert in the fashion industry. And when people search fashion, you are more likely to appear for relevant keywords compared to if you talked about fashion and daily life and food and cars and whatever else you want to talk about. YouTube doesn't really know what to recommend you for because you are all over the board. So the more you niche it down and you get specific on the content that you are sharing, the better chance you have in actually appearing for those keywords. The third thing is your audience engagement. You guys obviously have noticed that at the end of every single one of my videos, I say, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you are down there. Sometimes I ask you guys to leave a comment and there's a reason for that. It really does help to support my channel. The better engagement you have on your YouTube videos, the more YouTube is actually going to look at them and take them seriously. If you do not have any thumbs up, if you don't have any comments, YouTube is going to be like, well, like why? Why would I recommend that video compared to someone else that already has 5,000 views, maybe like 900 likes and 20 comments. They would rather go for something that people are obviously already enjoying and engaging with. So if you can encourage your audience to like your videos, add comments down below, subscribe to your channel and just watch your video, it's going to help you out so much because the audience engagement is a big factor for the YouTube algorithm. And along with that, your audience retention, how long people are actually watching your YouTube videos is so important. If you have a 20 minute long YouTube video and people are only watching it for four minutes, YouTube doesn't really like that. They want to see that people are actually watching your video from beginning to end. So whatever you can do to make your YouTube videos more interesting, more engaging for people to stay around for the long haul, the better. And one thing that you can really do to help boost both those things, your engagement and your audience retention is whenever you launch a YouTube video, make sure that you watch it the whole way through. Like the video as well, because you can like your own YouTube videos. And if you want to, you can add a comment in the comment section down below, pin it. So then your comment is the first comment. And a great thing to do would be to ask a question, something that's relevant to the YouTube video to encourage people to leave more comments in the comment section down below. So one thing that I'm really hoping that you get from this YouTube video is that you are in control of your YouTube SEO and you get to really kind of take fate in your own hands. Even if it is the smallest thing, like watching your YouTube video the whole way through to boost your retention rate, like that's good. Performing keyword research, including those tags, all that stuff, it's going to make YouTube happy. And the goal is to make YouTube happy so then they recommend you in search. So I hope you guys liked that video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You see what I did there. And I'll see you guys back here in another video really soon. Bye guys.